All right, so let's go into our first job posting. Here is a job posting where a graphic designer needed to create multiple uh, infographics for case studies specific to social media. I notice here that this is for a mental health startup. So we know that they're in the medical field, which there are certain you know attributes that we, we can um, put towards that. It looks like they have an existing brand guideline, which is fantastic, really helps. They, they're giving us a lot of detail here that I like. And I also see that they're looking for an intermediate experience level, pretty good hourly range. So this looks like a good, clean posting. I really like you, this one for all the reasons that you said, you know, they give a lot of good information about who they need, what they need them for, um, kind of what they've already developed, you know, the existing brand guidelines. Sometimes the question is, do I need to develop these things or do you already have them? So knowing that up front kind of already brings that into focus. It's not a ton of information, but I think for the job, it gives me enough to go on to write a proposal. In the skills and expertise tags, I think we can learn a little bit also about the experience level or knowledge level of the client on graphic design. They don't mention any design programs, no Photoshop, no InDesign, no Illustrator. So while their tags are good and clean on what they're looking for, they may not be as familiar with the process of that creation. So let's take a look at what was submitted. This is a great proposal. Really, yeah. before I even read it, visually, this is a great proposal. So nice. sometimes when we write proposals, we have a lot of things that we want to say, and we jam it all into one giant paragraph that looks very unattractive <laughs> to the eye. And when I am a client looking at a lot of proposals and I see just a big old paragraph, I may not read it if I feel like I don't have enough time. So breaking them into smaller pieces, uh, maybe even using bulleted lists if you need to call out key pieces of information. I like the good morning from Jacksonville, Florida. Clients get a lot of proposals, but I think the number one thing is people always think they're read in the order that they're received, which we know isn't true. So you should always be writing your proposal, kind of putting your best foot forward. And I think the number one thing to start with is if you can find the client's name, start with that. You know, sometimes they put it in the job post. Sometimes you can go look at their feedback and see where other uh, people have written their name in the feedback. And so, hey, if you can start that out with like, hi, John, good to meet you. Some people say like, hello, hiring manager or something like that, which feels a little more on the traditional side, not so much on the freelancing side, but, um, you know, to whom it may concern. Hello, Mr. or Mrs., if yeah, you can't find touch. the client's name, use something <laughs> to really, you know, catch their attention. But yeah, overall, this is kind of ideal. The one thing that they do have, which is probably against the terms of service, is it looks like they have their portfolio listed there at the www.blankedout.net. The only time that's going to be okay is if that portfolio, when they get to that website, does not have your contact information, a contact me form, a phone number, anything like that. Simply because that terms of service says that we have to keep that communication on Upwork until that contract is in place. So you can link to a portfolio if it's just some images, some templates, some wireframes, whatever is applicable for you. If there's no way to contact you when they get to that page, when you're wrapping up, Always just make sure that you're kind of closing that deal and saying, this is when I'm available to talk. I would love to chat either in the message room. Let's set up a Zoom. Here's when I'm available. Using that calendar tool to even set that up and make that a little easier. But kind of, you know, how if I'm the client, I want to know how can I talk with you as fast as possible. So make that easy. This one doesn't do that. And I think that that would be kind of a way that you could improve this particular proposal. What do you think about this, the, the voice and in, in how this is written? There's no typos. There's no real like grammatical errors. Everything is, is very kind of well-written um, and concise. It's got everything you want without being too wordy. This feels pretty ideal. So let's check out the next job posting here. It looks like another graphic design uh, sort of industry one. We have for logo and brand design, looking for creative to potentially be part of many, many future projects. Okay, so multiple projects here, um, needing logo, brand design for the company focused on helping others learn and grow. The reset factory. So it sounds like perhaps in the educational space, yeah. Um, and I think I would even try maybe Googling the reset factory to yeah. kind of help me understand a little bit more about the, the client, maybe their needs, because they're really not giving me a lot to work with in this particular job post. It's all over the place in regards to its tasks as well. 
Yeah. And I like this one though, because it is, it's kind of typical, you know, sometimes we get clients who come to the platform, they're not as well-versed in how Upwork really works. So when they write a job post like this, in fact, I would probably say this is maybe a brand new client. They haven't really figured out how to communicate their needs. So we have to sometimes (laughs) write proposals to these kinds of job posts. I'm not saying this isn't a serious client. They just aren't quite sure how the system works yet. So let's look at the the proposal that was submitted for this. My initial feeling is that it's it's a bit much. Yeah, so this is a good example of what I was talking about previously where you open that proposal and it's just words. <laughs> it is a very big block of paragraph that if this is maybe the 20th proposal I'm reviewing today, I'm tired. And so there are some good things in here, but yeah. formatting wise, uh, this needs some work. The second paragraph, the beginning, the catalog of work includes projects such as, and they list off a few things that could easily become some bulleted items that would really help with the layout, break up the text a little bit. You want to, you know, catch the eye, draw them in. And then once you've got their attention, actually say something worthwhile so that they understand that you are a qualified person that they want to have a further conversation with. I do see that there's some 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 really good uh, uh, snippets in here where they're talking about how they do their uh, projects, like starting with a conversation, create a few ideas to review. If you're happy, then we'll hone it in so that they're sort of taking the client down a trail of how is this process going to go? Yeah, considering this client is probably new, maybe they've never hired you know a freelancer before on any platform. It can be a very scary process from the client side as well. You know, they want to make sure that they're hiring someone who's going to provide them with a good outcome that isn't just going to take their money, that's going to really think about and consider them as a you know as a partner in in whatever they're trying to do. So yeah, I think helping the client understand like, what is the process of working with you? What are your steps or kind of how do you approach their work? And I think that goes back to, you know, you read their job post. So this helps them kind of see, you know, how would you, how would you work together? What, what would be those next steps? And what did you learn from their job post about what is needed from the client? Was there anything else we wanted to mention on this before we move on? No, you know, I think, you know, they've, they've attached some samples. I think it, just cleaning the formatting up on this one would go a long way. So, you know, that top one there, we talk about how clients come to the platform and they have a problem, right? They're, they need something done. They have some urgent project. They have, you know, something that just they can't take on themselves, or maybe they just don't even have time to take on themselves. And they desperately need your expertise. So when you are responding to those proposals and talking to clients, right, talk about how you're going to give that value. Don't just talk about yourself. You know, I'm a this and I did that, but also talk about the client. Look at that job post, put yourself in their shoes. Think about other clients you've worked with and how you helped them. Describe how you're going to basically solve the problem that's burning for them and why they're on Upwork in the first place. Most clients tell us that they just really want to find someone who treats their business interests like their own and wants to be a partner in. So the next one, um, you know, that opener of the proposal after that awesome greeting really should feel like a pitch. Uh, Just a few sentences that you can start with that talks about whatever is kind of relevant for you is that past experience, clients you've worked with, projects you've done, education, what, what is going to be important to this client? And then talk about that. So just a couple of sentences, just throw that right there at the beginning of the proposal. Clients tend to skim. They get a <laughs> lot of proposals. And so think about how your proposal looks to fresh eyes, maybe fresh, tired eyes. And Are you presenting the information in the way that is really the best way? So make sure that key information is either up top or it's in bulleted lists to catch their attention. The last one about the copying pasted proposals, that's, you know, we say that's the number one (laughs) no-no. Clients who, who feel like you did not read their job post, that you're just copying and pasting the same proposal over and over. It's the number one thing that, that, that just shuts them. 